Hello Forex traders, welcome to the monthly outlook for October. We will do right here, right now, planet trades for October, for USD pairs, for yen pairs and all other requested pairs. I hope you are pumped because this is my strategy that I trade with every single day that I have used for years. I, my name is Ayman Mira, I am your Forex trader, I am your economist, and I am going to show you where you should take your entries, where you should take your profits, and where you should have your stop loss. So, are you ready? Well, let's start with Aussie USD. As you can see here, the weekly trade plans that is to buy here and take profit here. And if it ever comes down here, this is the weekly selling target. Now, tomorrow there will be an interest rate decision in Australia. So this will clearly affect Aussie USD. There is an expected rate cut of 25 basis points. So, will this fall? That is mostly likely. So, Ivan, where is it going to fall? Well, the monthly target is 66,200 or 6620. But the also the monthly target, the monthly price is 67. 20 to buy from as a buyer you have two options you can buy from 66 67 200 or from 66 200 so what do you do you look for a reversal you always want a reversal now how does this trade work well this is what happened last month last month price price came down I said in a video here this is the price to buy from and if it comes down here that is your price and where is your target that is your target of 68,900 now you can look to the pip that was hit nothing else okay that was the buyers that was that was their run now sellers for sellers they now have a reversal pattern they have a new low that's required now they have a pullback that's required that's their entry to sell where's their target well their target was actually 67 62 awesome isn't it predictable ahead of the month well the price could have just have continued on, yeah, but it didn't. So, what do you do? You wait for patterns and price and markets coming to you. You need to wait. So, what do you expect for tomorrow? As a buyer, this is the place, and this is the place. As a seller, well, I guess you would be finding a sell position here and taking it down all the way down to 66. 200 and you take profit there is no 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 no. it's going to fall more no that is your target for the entire month of october when that's hit you walk away into something else and as a buyer your target is 69 200 isn't that awesome we can sit here in September and say, October, this is going to happen. Or this is what we want to happen. And we will trade if it happens. I think that's quite remarkable. Now, EURUSD. Well, we have a fall here. So, what is going to happen now? I would say you shouldn't sell until price comes up to 1.1. Okay, why? Well, that's the monthly price to sell from. And if it ever comes down below, you can sell it any pullbacks, any pullbacks, any pullbacks. 
and then you take it down all to 107700. Isn't that good? Well, as you can see from last month, that went below the price of the month, but still went up and came almost up to the monthly sell. I find that remarkable. And for the month of August, it came to the buy price, came to the target for the sellers for the week, into the buyer's uh, price for the month, went up to sell for the month, and both got their run. Though price didn't do so much, but still. They both got their entries, they still got their trades, and everyone is happy. Okay? So, as a seller, your target is 10770. Okay? As a buyer, if this turns around now, makes a reversal pattern, higher high, higher low, all the way, all the time, higher high, no wait, reversal, higher high, higher low, and your target is actually 1.110. 1 I find that remarkable. For British Pound USD, we have a sell opportunity here at 124,300. If it ever comes up here, that is where you sell. And you can sell it down to 118,200 and beyond. Because if Brexit happens, that is might likely to be crushed. If Brexit doesn't happen, price comes slowly down to 121 200 you take it up and you take it up until 27 500 or it could even go above because in one month's time that's when brexit will happen so i think that is awesome for you to any new viewers we are doing the monthly trade plans for october we are doing pound USD and we are pumped. This is the trade strategy I use every single day. And for monthly trade plans, that is the best to avoid short term trading, to avoid going into trades you should not be in. This is just one price, one target each month. And the trade plans we put up here is to 200 to 300 peps or more. So, are you ready for it? I am definitely ready for it. Should we go to gold? We can go to gold. Um, and by the way, this pivot, this could still potentially move, and I know this has moved since I did it, because this buy price will then be around where gold should be. Now, we can also see that gold has already hit my weekly target. Congratulations, boom! Though, you wait, since it now has broken out, now you wait for it to come up here, and then you sell it! <laughs> but don't be fooled. It is gold, by the way. So, for gold, the first target, of, at least now, is 40. 1443 with prolonged targets later on and then if it actually kicks off a buy and believe it or not it could be because of brexit the at least target is 15 57 at least and when brexit happens because why do i talk about brexit because brexit is supposed to happen one month from today it will make gold rise, uh, yen will rise, USD will rise, CHF Swiss franc is going to rise, and pound is going to fall. Will also the euro fall? Yeah, not so much, but yes. So I hope you have written down that as well, because you should. I just gave you a $300 advice, and if you don't take that, don't give it to me. Don't, don't, don't run after me. I'm just dropping information on you here. New Zealand <coughs> dollar. Uh, she says USD Swiss. 
I've actually from now, from this month on, said I'm not going to do UC Swiss anymore. Maybe that will bite me, but I don't have time for it. I don't really want you to trade it, so why should I prepare something for you that I don't want you to do? But okay, New Zealand. I would say that is definitely support. Okay. So then that's your price. And then what's your target? Your target is 64.60. And that was easy, wasn't it? But then if it kicks off, the at least target is 61.62. No, 61.62, yeah. At least. But if Brexit happens, New Zealand will rise, New Zeal USD will rise, New Zealand will fall. Not so much, but still, that's the game name of the game. And target is at least 6160. Yeah, I said that. Okay, good, good, good. So if you're a buyer, this is your entry. As a seller, you wait for the buyers to kick off up to 63, 62, and you will sell it down again. What happened last month, people? What happened last month? What happened last last month? What happened? Not so much that month, but uh, what else up here? Can we see anything up here? What else has happened before? Yeah, so just take into consideration two trading plans. That is your entry. USD CAD is just in between anything and everything. So if price ever comes down to the area of 31.85, you are really willing and able. Right now, that's also a target for sellers. Is that a good idea? That's a very good idea. And then if you find something like this, as a, re as a reversal pattern, you are going to be the best buyer in the world. And you only have one price and one target. And you hope it will go up to 34, 32. But if you are a seller, your price is at 33 ish plus or minus and then you wait for price to come up here you look for rejection and you sell it down to 30 130 60. Uh, what happens if they get a deal will pound rise when if they get a deal uh, no the thing is about the deal, they will still leave the European Union, so everything will still fall. It might just fall less. Because leaving the European Union still is a fi <laughs> by all means a financial and economical um, shutdown of the British economy. So to say that it will really make things steam less. Because demand from British goods goes, goes down. Because they have now more or less incentive to buy from them. But also when people now have struggles to buy or really don't want to buy from Britain then you get less jobs, less and, ever, less and everything. And if they still will have to declare everything at the border of goods, I'm not what kind, I don't know what kind of deal they will make, but if they have to declare everything by the, 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 the border, there will be a hard border, that will really, really, really make goods take a long time, that really slows down the economy. So yes, it will fall. Not so great as much as non-Brexit deal, but surely. Because I don't know, I haven't done the analysis, but there is some internal movement of, of trades all the time. But now you're outside country all of a sudden, there isn't that communal, we buy goods from you kind of a thing then you're an outsider. So it will be more difficult. That's 
Is that how I can put it in the best way, I guess? Yeah. And not to, not to, to talk about the, all the foreign investors that is thinking of leaving or ex is actually leaving because of obvious reasons of taxations and stuff. So, yeah. It is not good. Under any circumstances, deal or no deal, going out of EU is not good for the economy of Britain. Cheers to that. Yeah, that was my rant today. The target of the sellings of USDCAD is and will be 3060. I said that's true. Used to Swiss, I will not do. I have just said nope. Pound, British pound that is. But it actually also affects. So the prolonged effect you will have on pound is maybe years. Maybe two years, maybe three years before it could potentially pick up. And also the European Union will also be affected. It's not like that will just stay, remain silent and not do anything about their economy. So, yeah. Where are we? USD Czar, anyone? Anyone up for Czar? I was requested Czar, Zolo, the Czar. We can do Czar. That is, by definition, your entry for the month, for the week of October. If you don't find anything better to do, that is the prize. And then, what do you do then? Well, you need some kind of reversal. Okay. We are now have a new high. We now have a new low. And then after that, what happens then? You can also look for that and then a new low. And then sell it off here. Or you can just say, that's the low. If it breaks up below here, I will take it again. Okay. And then we will go out and then we'll say that 1445 is the target. That is, by definition, the easiest trade plan I have seen for the entire month of October today. Right? You just sell. There's nothing else, people. And uh, yeah. But then, of course, it isn't a bullish trend, by the way. Let me reset my chart. It isn't a bullish trend. But if you're going to sell at some point, that should be really the price and really the opportunity for you. And then when it, as it goes down, you sell it, you add positions. Like, you know, here, like, you know, just add, 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 stop. And then until, well, I don't know if it goes to go, goes to going to go down there. But if that is one plan, one opportunity you're supposed to take and leave the rest of October, that is the place. Okay, U.S. oil. Yeah, that's it to target that one. U.S. oil is. I want it to be bullish. I want it to stop up here, like some kind of. Yeah. Now we are just going. I don't like it here. I don't want to be bullish. You know, bullishness is not funny. I want to be sideways. So, I'm quite grumpy about US oil right now. And I would love it to be up here. It is not. Technically, it is no man's land. Could it go up from here? Yes, it can. But could it really be sold off 59? Yes, it can. So, if you sell it off 59 and it ever comes up here, your target is 48. Mm -hmm. And what happens to Brexit? This will make it fall. But if you are cheeky little monkey, if you find a reversal here, what is a reversal, by the way, people? How does a reversal look like? What do we do now? How do we, how do we really enter this? Okay, let me see. Let me find something for you, and then we just do coming down, bounce. Oh, bounce. Oh, going higher. Oh. Have we seen that before? Hmm. Let me see. That, no. Maybe. That's a new high. 
That's kind of the same thing, isn't it? That's a bye, people. And then here we have a reversal. And then that's the new hello. That's a kickoff back. Ooh, that's interesting. Then here, that's the pullback. And then that's the sell there again. Ooh, okay. What else now? This is just doesn't make any opportunities. In here, there is a reversal. Kicks back off maybe on a lower time frame. Okay. So this is the reversal pattern you look for in every pair that you want to buy. Because you don't want to buy in a downtrend, do you? Sorry. So yeah, let's do continue. The W effect. That is the best effect I've ever heard. And you know what? Do you know what we should call my strategy from now on? Not from now on, I should really start using it. It's really the effects of E winning strategy really the e winning strategy e win strategy that is what we're doing right now so there were some other requested pairs so we find them maybe then we can see if we somebody commented somebody commented somebody commented to commented commented <laughs> Dwayne liked my post. That sounds awesome. So we do. We have done. Requested was used is R. Have done that. Gold. I've done that. As a yen, euro USD, NZD. So I've done euro USD. I've done NZ, NZD USD. That is New Zealand dollar, American dollar. Then we have Euro New Zealand. And we have Aussie Yen. So we can do Aussie Yen. Australian Yen. Okay, so what is really going to happen here for this week? I said I'm, I was bullish. And then I said that sounds like a good idea. Now that week is actually of the weekly price and it kicks off that. Okay, but I don't really trust it because tomorrow we're going to have rate cut meeting or interest rate meeting where the market expects us to cut interest rates that will make the price fall. Okay, how long do you think it will fall, Ivan? I think it will fall down to the buy price of 72. If you're a buyer of Aussie Yen, you will think, hmm, that's a good price. What's your target? Your target is 75. 300, 375, 75, 400. That sounds like a good deal to me. Okay, but if you're a seller and it ever comes up here again of 73, 700, you take it down all the way down to 70. 70 what? 7200. That is your trade plan. This is your trade plan and whoever wins is really 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 up to the market um, you sound Scottish I must wait Scottish no right no Scottish man no Now we have some requested pairs. I have actually prepared pounds with me because I knew Dwayne, you cannot tell me which pair you want me to do, but I kind of have a mind of Swissy, you are the man. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Okay, Cadian, I just want to do that. That's really the sell price, people. If you are a seller of CAD and buyer of yen, for the month of October, that is really the price of 81, 700, 800, 70, 81, 800 ish. You can take it down to 78. And that, by the way, people, is around 400, no, 300 peps. That's a plan for you, free of charge, worth. Just as much as your account is right now. I hope that's big. 
But then I think this price is too low to buy from. And this is really the price for the month of October to be buying off. So the target is 83,200. And how much is that? 83, that's 300 peps, people. I love it. 300 peps giving you for free. Euro yen. I'm just working myself down to pound Swiss people. That's all. I really want to give the, 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 these ones away. That seems to be the buy price. That's a new high. That's not so well. But okay. So what do you do now? You wait for a new high. Take it up here. And then you might sell it again as 18,800. And you take it down to 14,800. How many pips is that really, people? Three, four hundred pips. Man, I'm really giving you something tonight. But if it ever comes down here to 16, you should really kick it off to, to 121. And then you sell it, and then you take profit. You walk away. And you are now, at least for this month, a profitable trader. That is awesome. Pound yen. Can we do pound yen? Well, this was really the price to be buying from, and that's really the price to sell from, apparently. That is the sell price of this week. That is the price to sell from this month. Now, what do you choose? That seems to be the price to buy from this month. Because this one is too low for you, that could be your plan B, as I, I presume, if Brexit goes well. But we are quite high right now. So, I must say, no matter what you are on, on Yen, if you are bullish and it goes bullish, but pound, well, bears we are. So, if this is the price, or this is the price, your target is still 125 to 50 uh, 125 25 but if it ever goes up if it ever um, remarkably goes up the target for buyers are 38 800 remarkably it is if Brexit doesn't happen that might be the case because this has really depreciated oh, this has really depreciated. I think it's around 3,000 3, pips or at least 2,000 pips since the high. Uh, yeah, okay, it went to 2,000. I thought it was 3. Sorry. 2,100 pips. It went down. So, we have to make up for it. And you couldn't back, go back up again? Yeah, I can. It all depends. Pants Wizzy. Oh, I have done it for you, Duane. You have to thank me for this one. Come on, mate. <laughs> Technically, this is support and resistance 101, 102, 3 or 4. That is a price to sell from. This is the weekly sell. This is the monthly sell. These sells are quite diff uh, far away from each other to be dynamite, as I'm talking about in my course. If you have these two together, that dynamite now what do you do now that's a pin bar or whatever you guys call it that's really a rejection candle so and it's brexit so or it's pound so just take it down take it down to 170 500 maybe yeah be sure about that but of course if this is actually going to rise come back down come back down, come back down, come back down, and then you buy something like this in the real world, 126.800 is really your target. Okay? Anything else on that, Duane? Are you ready for that? Or are you ready for the sale? And target is really the last swing low, or whatever you call it. Yeah. I do support and resistance, I do pivot point, and I do 
trend following, and it could be the trend. You never know. Euros are, that's what I'm looking for. Euros are, that is the prize of the month. That is the weekly prize. And that is like, it screams so. <laughs> All right. Money in the bank, money in the bank, money in the bank. That's where it screams. So, so it has been going up. It has been coming down. It has been coming up. And that's the end of it. Now, what do you look for? Even though you have a monthly sell, you still look for those pullbacks and you still have to trade it correctly. Oh, look at that. Oh, ah, that's an interesting thing. Yeah? That's my double view. That's my double top. That's my lower low. That's my pullback. It is going. Well, your setup is really there. Your setup is really, really, really there. And your target is, let me find my Googles, is 15,800. Or whatever, 81 maybe. 15,81. So, that should be awesome for you. But if it ever goes against you, as the pastor, we will bury this trade alive. Uh, we plus Black's blessing on his life. It is up to 17. But yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, it could. Potentially. But I don't think. If it goes ab ever above. In a trend above the monthly sell. Okay. Then don't shoot me, but I really set you up for a very good trade. It didn't work out. Fine. Fair enough. Square enough. That's all it is. Ready for a sell, Dwayne. Solomon, my brother. Where are you? Czar and Pound Swissy. I have done that for you. I hope you are very much appreciate. Okay? And then... I must say, if you're here and you're struggling with your profitability, I have a course for you. It's called Mentorship Course. I can teach you personally what you want and need to learn for you to become a successful Forex trader. I teach you every day what you need to know. And I also have some videos, many hours of videos. And as you can see, there is an advanced trading. If you are already know all of this, then there is this. And just to put in icing on the cake, I'm just about very soon to put out a um, PDF of which days you should sell or you should buy the market throughout the year that is i must say the best value you can get for 300 dollars. and if you don't have 300 dollars and say i don't have that but i have less then you can say message me and i will we will find a solution because i want you to succeed I will not do any of these webinars if it wasn't for me wanting you to succeed. I can totally find be by myself at ease profits every single day. But as I'm here helping you, that is the way you can reach out to me. <sighs> yeah. Okay, any other questions, people? And then, if not, we will end this webinar. And I hope really you have been given value. I really hope you have been given value. That you now have plans, you have insights of where you think the market will go for the next month. Even though we don't know what's going to go happen. It might rise, it might fall, it might do something, it might do something else. But we have planned. And Dwayne says, my course is well worth it. And both the money, both the time, and other students have said, it is outstanding. 
and under the price, the value of my course at over a thousand dollars. It is only worth, you only cost you 300, but it's worth way more than that. Think of that. Okay, I must say thank you for joining in.